Today we're taking a look at the one terabyte, 20 gigabits per second capable external SSD from Fanjang. This is actually a newer brand to me. I haven't heard of them before, so if I mispronounced it, my apologies. They actually reached out asking to sponsor a video review, and after taking a look at this SSD, the specs, and the size, I was pretty interested. I liked that this SSD comes in a nice small form factor. It's very convenient for carrying around, but it's not so small that you'll easily lose it. It seems like there's plenty of space inside of this enclosure for a little bit of air to circulate, and it feels like there's definitely some heat sinking material in here. The SSD advertises a super fast 2000 megabyte per second read speed and a 1800 megabyte per second write speed. The one terabyte model that I have here is rated for 512 terabytes written in terms of endurance. I think that's a super solid endurance rating. This SSD comes with a USB cable capable of either 20 or 10 gigabits per second transfer speeds. You can get the full 20 gigabits per second if you have a USB 3.2 USB-C port, but in case you don't have one of those, the cable does have this adapter on the end that'll convert that to the older, wider USB-A type connection. You'll get 10 gigabits per second out of that. I like that they include that Definitely nice if you're switching between a newer and an older PC. You can use the same cable and you don't have to buy anything. I was really curious to see the real world performance of this SSD, so I connected it to my computer by a 20 gigabits USB-C port and ran the Crystal Disk Mark 8 benchmark. I was relatively impressed by the results. In terms of the read speed, I got around 2,100 megabytes per second, or about 16.7 gigabits per second. And as for the write speed, the benchmark was right around the 1900 megabytes per second average, or about 15.5 gigabits per second write speed. I like running Crystal Disk Mark, but I also wanted to test just moving some files around. So next, I tested transferring a large 50 gigabyte file from my internal SSD to the one terabyte external SSD. I was actually fully able to saturate my internal SSD here, so the speed was pretty much capped at about 525 megabytes per second during the entire transfer. It's worth noting though that while the one terabyte external could easily keep up with this, it didn't actually slow down at all during the transfer, so I was quite happy with that. Some of the lower end SSDs will definitely slow down during large sustained writes. So I was very happy to see during the 50 gig copy that the speed was flat throughout. This lineup of external NVMe SSDs comes in a 500 gig version, the one terabyte, which I have here, two terabyte, and four terabyte drives. In terms of the speeds, they're all relatively similar looking at the specs. Given that the speed test results were pretty good, the build quality of the SSD enclosure seems really nice, and you get the nifty cable with the adapter, and the travel bag by the way, I would say this is a pretty good value external SSD. As for what I plan on using it for, I'm definitely going to use this when I go to LAN parties. It's small, it's lightweight, good amount of storage, and it's super fast. Though I'm definitely looking forward to plugging it into my PC for when we do file transfers, or if I had to put a game on this, I'm confident that it would be way faster than any SATA SSD. And it's super easy because all I have to do is plug it into a PC and I'm ready to go. And I know I've got the speed there to back it up. So yeah, I would say if you're looking for a lightweight, smaller SSD that doesn't break the bank, this is probably going to be a pretty good option for you. And I wouldn't have any issue recommending this drive. If you want to learn more or take a look at picking one of these up, I'll have links in the description below to check it out. Until next time, keep on gaming.